Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl and why you should read it. This book was first published in 1946 in German. It was then translated into English in 1959. It runs approximately 200 pages. This copy that I have is about 163 pages, so overall a very short book. It sold over 16 million copies. It's one of the most influential books of all time. If I had to make a list of 100 books that you should read before you die, this book would definitely be on the list and it would probably be in like the top 25. So it's a very, very important book. This, uh, this video shouldn't even be titled Why You Should Read This. It should be titled Why You Need to Read This. I think it's an absolutely essential book, like I said, for everybody. I wish this was taught in schools. I know some school curriculums still teach this book, but a lot of them don't, and it's very unfortunate. I'm going to run through a couple words on the plot real quick, and then I'll give you guys a couple personal reasons why I think it's absolutely necessary that you pick this book up and read it if you haven't already. Man's Search for Meaning recounts Viktor Frankl's harrowing experiences in Nazi concentration camps and presents his revolutionary theory of logo theory, emphasizing that the pursuit of meaning is central to human drive. As Frankl endured the unimaginable brutality of Auschwitz, he observed that those who survived were not necessarily the strongest, but those who found purpose even in suffering. His profound insights into human psychology suggest that meaning can be discovered in every situation, no matter how dire, through one's attitude and perspective. By detailing the horrors he faced and the eventual survival, Viktor Frankl provides a beacon of hope and a call to action for readers to transcend their circumstances and seek meaning in their own lives, offering a timeless lesson of resilience, freedom, and the importance of purpose. So that gives you guys kind of a general overview of what the book is about. The book is split into two parts. The first part goes over Viktor Frankl's personal experiences in the concentration camps. And the second part goes over his logotherapy theory. So to give you guys a couple brief words on what logotherapy is, it's Viktor Frankl's psychological theory that posits that the primary drive in life is not pleasure, as Freud suggests, or power, as Adler or Nietzsche suggest, but meaning. And this is something that I think most people agree on today. Most people, at least I think, most people aren't living for pleasure or power. They're living for a deeper sense of meaning in their life. Now, what that meaning is, is abstract. And Viktor Frankl lays out a case for it in this book. I don't want to spoil anything more than that. But I want to read you guys a couple quotes from this book that have really stuck with me. These are quotes that I reread to myself quite often because they're very inspiring. So one of them is, When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves very powerful quote, and this one I'm sure many of you have heard before. Those who have a why to live can bear with almost any how. Again, a very inspiring quote. Now I'm going to go over a couple books that I would pair with this book to read alongside it, since I don't really have any movie recommendations for you guys today. Here are a couple books that I would pair with Man's Search for Meaning. The first book that I would pair with Man's Search for Meaning is Night by Elie Wiesel. This is another book that goes over the author's personal experiences in concentration camps. It's also very short, just like Man's Search for Meaning. It's about 100 pages. I think it's even shorter than Man's Search for Meaning. However, this is a darker book. This is one of the darkest books I've ever read in my life, but I also think it's essential literature. I think it's it's probably in the top 100 books as well that you should read before you die. Probably both of these books are in the top like 25, top 50. They're absolutely necessary to read. So I highly recommend reading both of those together. Another book that I would pair with those two is Primo Levi's If This Is Man. This book's a little bit longer. It's about 430 pages, but again, a harrowing, detailed account of the author's experiences in concentration camps. And lastly, I have two books by Lawrence Reese. If you guys want to learn more about the history of Auschwitz, the history of the Holocaust, you guys can pick up his books, uh, Auschwitz and the Holocaust. They're fantastic reads. They're very detailed. They go into the entire history of the Holocaust and Auschwitz. So if you guys want to learn more that way, highly recommend both of those two books. So I will be making videos on why you should read each of those four books that I just mentioned because they deserve their own videos. 
And um, if you guys have any recommendations for books that you guys want covered on this series in the future, please let me know down in the comments and I will get around to that. Before we wrap up today, I want to give you guys a quick little anecdote of how I came in contact with this book. So I wasn't taught this book in school. Like I mentioned previously, it's not taught in a lot of school curriculums, which is very unfortunate. I wish I was taught this book in school. I came across it while I was working at Dairy Queen. I was 14, 15 years old. I had a Ukrainian supervisor who we talked a lot about psychology, philosophy, philosophy, theology, and one of the first books he recommended to me because I was so interested in psychology was Man's Search for Meaning, and needless to say, that spiraled me into a rabbit hole where I started reading the books that I just mentioned, The Gulag Archipelago, which I'll make videos on this channel in the future, and so many other fantastic books that have really enriched my life. Now, some of them haunt me, and they will haunt me till the day I die, but they enrich my life and they give my life more meaning, so I hope you guys take these book recommendations seriously. I hope you guys go out and buy these books or take them out from the library, read them, engage with them, come back to this video. Let me know what you guys thought about the books in the comments. I will definitely engage with you guys down there. I love talking to you guys in the comments. So don't forget to do that. Leave me some suggestions down below if you guys have any books that you guys want covered on this series. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. It helps boost this channel and the algorithm. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.